Hey, what's up you guys? It's your boy Jose Zaniga and for today, I wanted to compile a list, a concise video that if you could forget about every other video, we, we have over I think a thousand videos at this point, and I would concise all my best tips into only 10, 10 style tips that I believe every dude should know by heart by now, it would be these. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Yo, Jose, damn, where'd you get that hoodie oh, from? Thank you, thank you. Well, this, my friends, is the Olive Essential hoodie. Um, I freaking love this color. I've been wearing it for like three days straight, which is kind of, it's kind of nasty, but I think it looks that good. If you guys want to check out the Essential hoodie, like I said, there's still some available. You can link down below. This color, super sexy. Let's hop into it. Number one, when you're dressing sharp, always keep your shirt tucked in. You already know the rule. If it's a button down shirt and it's cut below or covering your butt, that's a dress shirt. And that means it should always be worn tucked in. If you're dressing sharp and you wanna look good, that shirt should be tucked in. Don't be the tool or the guy that's wearing a suit or a blazer jacket with his shirt on top. You look like you come from a lame boy band from the 2000s. Clean up your look and look sharper than everybody else by always keeping your shirt tucked in. And take it a step further by making sure that shirt remains tucked in all day by anchoring it in using shirt stays from our sponsor KK and J. This is the one of those secret items or secret weapons that every gentleman should have in their wardrobe. It doesn't matter who you are or how you dress. If you have a suit or ever need to dress up for a presentation, a wedding, a date, an interview, whatever it is, this is a secret weapon you need to have. Because with this tool, your shirt's gonna remain tucked in all day, guaranteed, I promise you that, or your money back. And since everything is made in the USA with super high quality materials, I've been using the same shirt garters for I think two years plus now, and they're still going strong, they still have the elasticity, and again, you're paying like under 30 bucks for this. That's a steal. So if you guys wanna check out these shirt garters, there's gonna be a link down below. Also, just gift them away. Like these make great stocking stuffers or a great addition to something you're giving to your father, to your brother, or to that one stylish friend that you wanna hook up. If you guys wanna check it out, there's gonna be a link down below. There's also gonna be a special discount code. These make great gifts. Number two, always make sure your clothing fits. Buddy, if you weigh 130 pounds, sizes large and extra large should be nowhere near your wardrobe. They shouldn't even be in your vocabulary. And so many dudes try to overcompensate or feel more comfortable by wearing large or extra large cuts when they clearly should be in a small or a medium. Number three, when you find an item that you like, buy two, three, or four of them. See me, I'm a pretty practical dude. I love black t-shirts, I love hoodies, I love your basics. So when I find that one item that I like how it fits, I like how it looks, and I like how it makes me feel, I buy multiple of them, because I already know myself. I'm gonna be trying to wear that all the time. So make your life easier. If you find a certain fit with a brand that you like, buy three, four, five of them, and if they have them in different colors, pick them up in different colors or the colors that you like. So if you guys like the black essential tees, Get yourself three of them. If you guys love the hoodies, get one in each color. So the best way to do this is, if you find an item that you like, let's say like it is a t-shirt, or maybe it's an express dress shirt, or a flannel from Forever 21, whatever it is, buy one, the money you have now, but then automatically go online and tag that exact item using ShopTagger. ShopTagger is our sponsor in a free app that I've told you countless of times to download on your phone and on your web browser because this app allows you to tag items and create lists. So once you know you like this item and it fits you perfectly, start adding it adding onto your list. That way you know when you have extra money and you wanna expand your wardrobe, you can go in and buy it again. But here's the kicker. ShopTagger will go a step further. Not only is it great for creating lists, it also reminds you when those items are restocked or they go on sale. So why haven't you downloaded ShopTagger? It's one of the best secrets and tools for guys that are trying to dress well and build out a wardrobe. But even better, it's a great shopping list hack. So if you have five, 10, or 20 people you need to buy Christmas gifts for, why don't you make a list on ShopTagger? Literally tag the items that you're planning on buying these people on a list that way you can keep them all together. That way when you get paid, you just start buying it off the list or when the, these holiday sales start coming in, ShopTagger's reminding you, hey, this item went on sale, this item went on sale, and you are gonna be saving money this Christmas. So if you guys wanna download ShopTagger for free, there's gonna be a link down below. Number four, it doesn't matter what age you are, you need to buy at least one sharp suit. And when you do that, go for charcoal or navy. My personal favorite, always charcoal. I feel it makes you look like a boss. Number five, 
buy good gym clothes. Gym clothing was specifically engineered for the gym to help with compression, with movement, with air ventilation, to minimize sweat. All these benefits you get from gym clothing on top of making you look sexier and more attractive, which like I've always told you, you never know when you're gonna meet the love of your life. Number six, wear clothing how it's supposed to be worn. Well, every time I say this tip, the first thing that comes to my mind is guys that sag their jeans. I mean, dude, if you're over 18, you should be way outgrown and out of that stage. Think about it, trousers were cut and made in a certain way to sit either at your hips or at your waist. On top of, whoever told you that showing your underwear was actually attractive? Number seven, apply fragrances correctly. So to do this, you wanna apply it to pressure points that release heat throughout the day, such as the front and back of your wrist, your neckline, and the middle of your chest. If you want a little bit more oomph, once you get dressed, you can do one light spray across your clothing to really kinda seal everything in, but this one you gotta be careful for because sometimes the scent is very hard to wash away. Number eight, spend more money on less clothing. I want you to flip the switch on this mentality that quantity is better than quality. No, it's not good going and buying 10 $5 shirts. It would be much better buying one good 30 to $40 shirt that you know will last you 30, 40 years, but also feels better and fits and conforms to your body better. Because most of those $5 shirts are disposable. They end up shrinking. They end up looking like crap. And then on top of that, when you throw them away, you're adding to your eco footprint. Number nine, get everything adjusted. If it's off the rack, chances are it probably won't fit perfectly, whether it's a shirt, a suit, trouser, chinos, or jeans. So make sure you have a good tailor. I've showed you the power of tailoring. I can grab Walmart clothing, tailor it, and it could look as good as Hugo Boss clothing. I can grab Costco clothing, do the same, and the outfits look amazing. I've showed you time and time again, when you tailor your clothing, it makes a world of a difference. And finally, number 10, when you shop online, always have a tape measure with you. I mean, personally, I already know my personal measurements by memory. So every time I'm shopping online, I always go to the size guide and look at their measurements to see which size would fit me best. But if you don't, buy a tape measure. You can get them on Amazon for I think like one or two dollars, maybe cheaper than that. And that one thing will save you so much on return and hassles because you can legit measure yourself and compare it to their online chart to make sure that everything you buy fits you perfectly on the first try. And that's basically it for today's video guys. Those are the 10 best styling tips that I believe every dude should know and just have ingrained by now. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel so well, because it helps us out. That's it for me today. See you next time.